Welcome back to The Healthy Voyager. As promised, I'm back and introducing you to my absolute favorite part of Croatia, Plitvice Lakes National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This region is located only a few hours from Zagreb or the coast, and visitors can either choose to take day trips here from major cities, or better yet, spend a few days in this breathtaking area. Of course, I opt for the latter, to be able to take in more than just the national park as the whole area has so much to offer outdoorsy travelers. Hands down, the best place to stay is at Plitvice Holiday Resort, boasting a wide variety of accommodations from teepees to cabins to even tree houses. This place has five-star summer camp written all over it. Fun for all ages. Well, I'm here in Plitvice National Park area, and this is the Plitvice Holiday Resort. There are a number of places to stay in the area because it's a famous national park. However, this one is really incredible. It's got all sorts of accommodations from apartments to cabins like this on a lake. They've got these really cool like container homes for families, uh, a number of pools, restaurant, there's a mini golf, uh, bikes you can ride. Uh, it's a great place for families. This little cabin area is great for couples. So I think personally, I hit the jackpot in accommodations when it comes to checking out the national parks. A veritable Ewok village nestled in the woods, Plitvice Holiday Resort is a wonderful place to relax and unwind before or after your visit to the national park, as well as a welcomed break from visiting the more populated cities around Croatia. A nature lover's dream, to be sure. made it to the national park of Plitvice um, Lakes and it is the largest national park here in Croatia and quite busy in the summertime and rightfully so because from photos I've seen it looks absolutely beautiful. I believe there's over 60 lakes, a ton of waterfalls, uh, so make sure if you come you have a full day to enjoy the park. All right, let's head in. Some pro tips for visiting the park are to give yourself a full day, wear comfortable shoes and sunscreen, and know where you're entering and exiting from as there are a few entrances into the park. Other than that, just enjoy. The beauty of the national park lies in its 16 lakes interconnected by a series of waterfalls and set in a deep woodland landscape populated by deer, bears, wolves, boars, and rare bird species. haven't even gotten to the main event yet and it's already beautiful. It is not permitted to swim in the lakes despite them being so wonderfully inviting, especially on a hot summer day, but rightfully so as it preserves the natural habitat and beauty of this stunning natural park. I went backwards, started at entrance two, coming to entrance one after taking the ferry ride. Entrance one is where all the big waterfalls are. And one of them right behind me. Famous for its numerous turquoise colored lakes and waterfalls separated by tuffa or travertine barriers, its karst landscape is characterized by specific hydrological traits and exceptional biological diversity, which help the national park gain international significance and its UNESCO status. All of that beautiful water was taunting me, so off I went to get into some pretty water nearby that I could actually jump into. Well, I'm all geared up, as you can see, to do some river kayaking. And this is no regular river kayaking. This is going down drops and waterfalls with Plitvice Outdoor and uh, they are an outfit out of the Plitvice uh, Holiday Resort. So if you're staying at the resort or if you're not, you find them and they'll bring you out to the river and gear you up. So let's get in that cold water. 
Beyond the main tourist attractions, hidden in a rural area between Rastoke Village and Plitvice Lakes National Park is the Mreznica River, which is where this water adventure takes place. So I'm here at the top of the river where we start the kayaking. And uh, as you can see behind me, that's the first drop, and there's several drops that go down the river. There's a few flat sections, but uh, it looks easy enough. I don't know, the water's cold, but I'm down for it. Let's go. Here we go. Ready. First drop. <laughs> Alright, so that was the baby first drop. I'm excited for the big guys. Within a canyon, dense forest covers the area, surrounded by cliffs where you can reach the waterfalls only by kayak. The source of the river is only a few miles upstream from civilization that flows with clean, crisp, drinkable water. I don't know if you can hear me over the rushing water, but just went over a nice fun, and you'll see the next person going down. It's really fun. Surrounded by untouched nature, the easy rapids and calm waterfalls put this river on the world map, marking it the most beautiful river in Europe. Its local name is actually the Waterfall Playground. Whoa! Time to go under the waterfall and go away. <laughs> During the kayaking journey, the tour makes several stops, which give you the chance to jump and kayak off several waterfalls. But not to worry, for the less adventurous ones, you can swim behind the waterfalls, kayak over them, paddle behind them. The choice is yours. No matter what, you're in for an absolute treat. It was time to dry off and take in a little more of the area before heading back to Zagreb. A little fun at the resort and a museum visit rounded out my time in my favorite part of Croatia. Well, that's a wrap, but there are more adventures to come on the next Healthy Voyager.